Hi everyone, welcome back to week 14 of the 2012 NFL season. I didn't do very well with my picks at all last week, so I'm taking an extra day to, to do this. So let's get right to it. The first game we're going to look at against the spread has Baltimore going to Washington, where the Redskins are two and a half point favorites at home. I think Baltimore's defense is pretty banged up and old. I don't think they can catch up key or at least keep up to RG3. Uh, lay the points, take Washington minus two and a half. The second game we're going to look at has Dallas going to Cincinnati, where the Bengals are three-point favorites at home. The Bengals are on a nice little roll here, four in a row, but they beat a, a vulnerable Giants team, and then they've beaten uh, Kansas City, Oakland, and San Diego. Not the best teams in the NFL right now. Dallas is still in the playoff hunt. As a quality team, not a, not a great team. Cincinnati struggles against uh, decent teams. They're actually, uh, the Cowboys are four and two against the spread on the road, so take the points. Think Dallas plus three. The third game we're going to look at has Miami going to San Francisco. It's a big number here. It's 10. But uh, this is a game following a, another bad performance by San Francisco. They seem to have fallen in, into a pattern San Francisco has. Every third game they do really poorly, but then they follow that with a, 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 a really good performance. I think they destroyed the Jets after they lost uh, against my Vikings one week. And uh, every time they lose, they seem to do really well. I don't think Miami can keep up with them. So lay the points, take San Francisco minus 10. And the fourth game we're going to look at has New Orleans going to New York to take on the Giants, who are five-point favorites here. Uh, both these teams are pretty desperate, but these, if the Saints lose, they are out. I think this goes right down to the wire, uh, maybe a field goal either way. The uh, Giants are actually uh, only 2-4 and four against the spread all year. So let's lay the points, or let, rather let's take the points. Take New Orleans plus five. Okay, here are the... Uh, over under plays. The first game we're going to look at the New York Jets are going to Jacksonville. That number is 38 and a half. Sanchez is back in for New York, so that means not very many points are going to be scored. The Jaguars have sort of uh, fallen into a pattern under, over, under, over, under, over. I guess they're due for an under. Cecil Shorts, their uh, wide receiver, is out. I don't even know who the running back is. It's probably somebody with a winning program number who's going to report to the field. I don't see very many points being scored here. Let's take under 38 and a half. Uh, so the second game we're going to look at, uh, we've already talked about this one. And Miami was at San Francisco. And that number's 39. Uh, you know, these are uh, two of the better defenses in terms of points allowed. Miami number 11, San Francisco number 1. Uh, after San Francisco loses a game, they come back very strong uh, and, and win, and they shut down the other team. They've only had, uh, after the, the, the time that they didn't win, the, uh, they're 2-1 and one under. And the only time that the game went over was the spread was really low. I think it was 34. So let's take under 39. The third game we're going to look at has Arizona going to Seattle. That number is 34 and a half. Wow, it's just too low. Um, Seattle is actually uh, four or five in, in their last games have gone over. They're, one of their cornerbacks is out. And at least uh, for Arizona, Skelton is back in instead of the rookie at quarterback. And Beanie Wells, the running back, who had had been out and played in a limited amount of time last week, should be healthy. I expect a little bit more points here. Take over 34.5. And, and the last game we're going to look at, we talked about that one earlier, New Orleans at, um, at the Giants. That's 53.5. That's actually the biggest number of the week, considering that the Giants have only played three games all year where the number has gone over. And if you've been watching them uh, recently, uh, for New Orleans, Breeze has thrown, I think, seven interceptions in the last couple of games. And and uh, uh, Eli Manning was very erratic last week. I don't see very many points being scored here. Take under the 53 and a half. All right, let's talk about the uh, straight up games. I'm going to just move over to, to the side here. And for those of you who are still alive, like me, in your suicide pool, there's actually a lot of games to choose from. You might go... Uh, um, here, where's my sheet here? Yeah, you might go Detroit at Green Bay, but that's a divisional game. Green Bay is favored by seven. I, I, I'd avoid that one. Arizona's at Seattle. The uh, Seahawks are favored by ten. You might take that one. Also a divisional game. San Diego's at Pittsburgh. Now, Roethlisberger comes back for, for Pittsburgh, but he is kind of hurt. And you know what? For San Diego, it looks like they're going to fire Norv Turner. You know, I just don't trust this game. I think uh, uh, Philip Rivers is actually going to do well. I'm not saying it's an upset here, but I, I don't like this game. 
you could think about uh, Philadelphia, Tampa Bay. The Bucks are favored by seven and a half. I'm not sure if I'm uh, willing to trust the Buccaneers with my suicide pick. I myself, I'm, I'm going to take San Francisco, who are heavily favored over Miami, with my suicide pick. Okay, those are my picks for this week. Thank you very much, and good luck to you. I'd just like to uh, thank Sean and Billy B from uh, Team Take'em, the talk rapper, the football guru, Matt Stewick, and Chris Mears, who joined me this week in a couple of our Google Hangouts. We had a lot of fun. I hope you can do that too. If you ever want to get in on one, just send me a PM and I'll tell you how to do that. All right. For the Geo Knows channel, I am Geo. Let's take the man's money.